Welcome folks, this is Wayne here, yet another outdoor and gear review channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the Workless HD1. Mine developed a slight rattle. You can hear it uh, dropped it numerous times. Other people have had the same issue. So the option would be to send it back to workers or to fix it. I prefer to fix it because one day I have to exchange the battery anyways. I really like the light so I don't want to waste it. So first of all, you get rid of the clip. You just need um, basically a fine mechanics toolkit to do that. Uh, most of you will have it at home. It's only a couple bucks on Amazon. Anyone who's ever had to work on flashlights will have a kit like that. So it's pretty easy to unscrew this clip. By the way, I like the clip a lot. It serves me well. So uh, the back plate is magnetic, so it should come out like that. Uh, let me grab a magnet real fast. And you could also use a magnetic surface, of course. Okay, they said it should come out like this. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, someone else came up with that solution on Facebook, by the way. So I'm, I'm just trying to imitate it. So the back plate comes off slowly. Wiggle it out. Uh, let's check it out. So this is where the magnets are at home. As so if we have a fine silicone O-ring here. That is excellent news. And you see the screws here. So it's actually fairly easy to exchange the battery on this flashlight. That is a big deal. So we see the battery in there. Um, we try to get it out a little bit. I could pull it a little bit harder, perhaps. I don't want to do that right now because if I break something, I don't have a replacement battery. But at the very least, I can get into the light. It is possible to reach that battery, and it's definitely possible to order a replacement. So here we have the wiggle. You can hear it. I think there is some kind of silicone pad or something in there. Um, it came a loose. So the way I'm going to fix it, there's basically two ways. I could wedge something in there. I could wedge a sticky pad in there, for example. I could just put a little bit of silicone in there, uh, which is, I think, actually what I will do. Uh, so let's get some silicone. So to fix the rattle, I just used some cheap acrylic silicone. I had that one open, so... I know there's better stuff as well. I used the white color, so it's going to be easier to just uh, remove the white silicone uh, when I one day exchange the battery. So just give it a nice little bit of silicone around here. It's good. So let's clean the area a little bit where it will shut with the silicone o-ring yeah it should be fine it should be not a problem at all so put that back in place i could put some silicone o-ring some silicone grease on the o-ring but it's not even necessary so there we are the light is still operating fine and the rattle is already gone so the fix is easy as this um, yeah, usually workers doesn't have quality control problems, but this is a fairly new light, a fairly new format for them. Usually they build standard flashlights like this, cylindric form, excellent machining and everything. This is a little bit of a different ballpark for them. So I understand it's the first version and they need to get in tune with the factory that manufactures it, but it's not an issue at all. So no more rattle. And one day, if I have to replace the battery, I just open it and plop it out somehow. I hope I'm going to be able to actually get to the contacts in there. But, you know, there is a way they assemble the light. So there is a way to disassemble it without destroying it as well. So good to know, I think. Uh, this was wear and tear over and out.